This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Cincinnati police have arrested a suspect in a weekend murder in Westwood. Investigators say 48-year-old Sean Carter stabbed Andre Dockery early Saturday morning on Queen City Avenue. Police say Dockery was stabbed in the chest. The man accused of shooting into a home with a teen inside went before a judge today. You're looking at Stephen Neiman, who shot into a home, according to police, on Quebec Road in East Price Hill. They say he did that with the intent to harm a teenager and a man inside. Authorities say Neiman's address is listed as down the street from the victims. He's now behind bars on a $10,000 bond. The reason a woman was asked to remove a Ukrainian flag at the Western Southern Open Tennis Tournament yesterday was due to its size. At least that's what tournament officials told Reuters Tuesday. According to the tournament's bag policy, flags or banners larger than 18 by 18 are prohibited. But the incident involving the fan and the flag happened during a qualifying match between two Russian players on Sunday. The latest edition to Hippo Cove explored the outdoor habitat for the first time this week. The zoo says two week old Fritz and his mom Bibi spent a little over an hour in the water and then headed back to the indoor habitat. That's so cute. Zookeepers say once they're confident that Fritz and Bibi are comfortable in that space, visitors will get the chance to see them. Let's get a check of the forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Steve. Yeah, Tanya, as we look at things for tonight, we're seeing pretty much the same forecast we've had in the last 24 hours. We still have a chance for an isolated shower, but partly cloudy otherwise. That rolls us into tomorrow and the same forecast at 80 degrees. Then our Super 9 Day forecast shows how things dry out on Thursday and Friday. Temperatures are going to rise more seasonally at 85 and then more significant chances for widespread rain coming up this weekend.